Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, August 15th and it is Timu time at Tea Time Adventures. <laughs> it's also Darter's Treatsies time because I just got home and it's uh, between 5 and 6 o'clock at night so I've got the entire afternoon sun shining in through my bedroom window. So I do have the fan on low so I do apologize for that otherwise I would be just sweat to death in this bedroom. So Timu time. This order, as I slowly but surely catch up, because I think I'm up to order number 31 or 32. I love you too, boogie girl. Yeah. So you're going to have to go back for a steroid shot soon. <laughs> anyway, um, this order was from June 5th. <laughs> I'll eventually catch up. Um, the original cost was $166.99. Minus the first round of discounts took off 118.55, so that left 48.44. There was a three dollar coupon, which I be believe came from Mary Bella, aka uh, Mary Makeup, and I will leave her channel link down below because I think it was her ambassador discount that got me that three dollars off. Um, that has a subtotal of 45.44. Shipping and uh, sales tax were added, um, so the total came to forty nine ten. However, after the fact, after it shipped, I got an additional dollar seventy eight in price adjustment credits on six different items. So somebody's gonna have to do the math on that for me. Forty nine ten minus a dollar seventy eight. There you go. So we're starting to get to know this item really well. <laughs> because this is probably the third one that I've purchased. I keep forgetting I've purchased it, so I'm sure I'll put them in giveaways or something, people that I know that have tall water bottles that need to have the, the bottom definitely cleansed out. But this is, like I said, I, I know I've bought it three times over. I don't know how many, <laughs> how many different orders. But at the time, it was like, you know, 55 cents. I mean, 55 cents, this thing is sturdy. So we'll go ahead and put that over there. Uh, the next item, I know there's a bunch of small little things amongst this, and I originally bought this for my guy, who I haven't spoken to lately, so I hope he's okay, but it is Shaggy. It is a pin of Shaggy, and that's kind of what he looked like when we were growing up. He looked like Shaggy. Um, so I got this uh, little pin for him, and at the time it was 71 cents. I also picked up something I thought was really neat. And again, I'm not quite sure where I first saw these, and I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong where I got them, or got the idea for them. That this is a, I believe, a stainless steel um, little, I don't know what you want to call it. What do you want to call it? I don't know what you want to call it. Does it say? No, other than made in China, it just doesn't say. Um, so when you get onions and garlic on your hands, this stainless steel little um, bobble, <laughs> I guess you want to call it, helps take the smell off. I don't know how it does it, but it does. So you just, uh, onions and garlic, rub your hands over it. It's not going to soap it up or anything, but somehow the metal absorbs the smell of things like um, garlic and onions. So I know I saw it on another YouTube channel, um, and I don't remember who. So I'm pretty sure whoever it was, I probably made a comment that, ooh, I'm adding this to my box. So if you remember who you are, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> So at the time, let's see, what's it called? Oval Stainless Seal Soap Round Metal Deodorizer, and it was $1.48. Now the next thing that I picked up, where are you? I really did try and organize, but uh, you know, you know how things like that go. This is a pulse oximeter. It was $1.86, and I have asthma, and sometimes when I wonder, you know, how much oxygen and I'm, am I really sucking in? It does come with a little um, I can't show you now what it does, but basically we've all seen it when we've been to ER that we put our fingers in here and it tells you what our oxygen level is and what our pulse is. So it's a pulse oximeter, fingertip pulse oximeter. Um, 
I thought it was interesting. I thought it would be something to try. There is a little instruction thing down there. Um, but as someone who does have asthma, um, and it's not your typical asthma. Usually it's um, called uh, exercise-induced asthma. <laughs> so if I overwork myself, um, you know, shopping, walking, whatever, exercise, um, exercise-induced asthma. So it's hard to breathe, hard to catch my breath, but it's not your typical bronchial, normal, everyday asthma. But I thought this would be interesting for a bit of information to help me diagnose myself to, to see, do I take my inhaler, do I not? And that was $1.86. Now, there's a few other things over here. Um, I'm starting to collect the little pins that Timu has. How do I get into this? Um, you've seen all the little ones. Because there used to be jeans jackets in the 80s where we'd all have our little pins. And I just thought this was adorable. And it's called, and pardon me for the bad language, Bad Biatch <laughs> Club. And it's got a tiny little duck with a knife. <laughs> Bad bitch club. <laughs> now the reason I like this is I have this same little duck in a little like uh, JPEG or, or, or GIF and um, GIF, GIF, whatever. Um, and, it, and it has to do with autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. Ducking versus the other word. So... <laughs> I just thought this was adorable, and this is one thing that I wanted to get. So this teeny tiny little pin was all of 58 cents. I did indulge in a few other pins, if I could just locate them. Where are you? Yeah, you're coming. You're coming along. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. All right. The next one, and even though they probably do not have the rights to this, and I'm probably taking money out of Mr. Watterson's um, pockets, but this looks exactly like Hobbes from Calvin and Hobbes, and that is one of my absolute favorite comic strips ever. So I didn't see a Calvin anywhere, but here's Hobbes, so definitely a, a keeper. Um, it just says cute tiger brooch for men. <laughs> it was $1.17. The next thing is called a rice bucket. Um, and I buy way more, sorry for the noisy unbagging. I buy way more rice than is gonna fit in here, but this would be good for a lot of other things like instant mashed potatoes, um, oatmeal, etc., etc. Um, am I putting this on right? No, I'm not. That's probably why it's not working. Um, anyway, you put this on, you take off the top, you pour it, you put this back on. I don't know, part of it is obviously in Chinese, <laughs> metrics. Oh, thank goodness, they do have, they do have <laughs> imperial, <laughs> so I don't have to deal with metrics. But I figured this holds a box of instant mashed potatoes, this could hold a container of oatmeal, um, it's not going to... It might hold a small box of like minute rice, but um, yeah, it's supposed to clip on here and I'm sure I'll figure it out in a little bit. But um, the rice bucket with measuring cup, um, $1.28. We also have refillable um, bottles. You do know I do have a tendency to buy these things these refillable bottles because they look like some of the the bougie stuff and I think I bought them before but this looks like the dragon's blood do I have it over here no I don't um Rodeal's dragon blood where you've got the either the micellar water or um their toners or whatever and that you do the pump with your yeah so I got two different sizes um I think was, one was 100 mil and the other one was 200 mil. Um, let's see. Yeah, the 100 mil was $1.57 and the 200 mil was $1.67. And I, I like having those, uh, whether it's for travel or just have a uniformity of, of uh, you know, the bottles. Um, I like that. Now, 
this next item is something I definitely know where I got this from. And this was watching Charmaine's Timu haul. It might have been her first Timu haul. And obviously Timu Canada is going to be a little bit different than Timu USA. Um, we can't play the games together. Darn it. Um, but these are forehead wrinkle patches. So like a, a, a forehead mask. And they were 10 for $1.34. And this is definitely something I picked up from watching Charmaine's from Charmaine's Staycation, her Timu haul. So I love that we can all find stuff on each other's hauls that then we end, then add to our never ending cart. So I will have Charmaine linked down below. Thanks Charmaine. The next thing is, and again, I don't remember who I saw this from. I believe it was Mary Catherine, but it could also have been, and I always mangle her name and I'm so sorry, Robin Sadowski. Um, Or was it Gloria? Darn it. Okay. But it's a little thing where you roll over. Let's see if I can do this. And you can block out, you know, your name and address. I'm just doing it lightly. <laughs> but, yeah, it's got a little pattern. And it's got an ink in it. And uh, it's just a little roller. And um, that way you, you don't have to, you know cut your name and uh, labels and stuff like that off of your mail. You can just roll over it. So that's where I got this one from. Um, again, I can't remember if it was Mary Catherine, Gloria, Beauty Over After 50, or Robin Sadowski. Either way, since I'm talking about them, I will link everybody down below because why not? Um, I gotta make sure this snaps into place. And that little sucker... Gosh, I hope this is dry. Um, identity theft prevention stamp, $1.78. So the next thing that I picked up, because at the time it was June, and that is the month of Pride. And I am definitely an LGBTQIA plus ally. And I thought, oh, and it's broken. I can fix it, but it's broken. They're both broken? Oh, no, they're just not attached. All right, well, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> These are supposed to be earrings. <laughs> they're in pieces. Um, I think they're supposed to be in pieces because they're both like that and the ear wires are absolutely fine. So maybe I'm supposed to put them together myself, which I can do since I do have do, 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 do <laughs> jewelry. So aren't those pretty? I love that, I love that. Um, I'm going to have to put those aside for right now and figure out what to do with those. But those little hearts in acrylic with rainbow full of hearts were 57 cents. Next thing I also bought in the hopes of taking salad to work and because it was hot pink, because this girl has to have everything she can in hot pink. Now, this is a salad thing that you take to lunch. It's got your little fork right now it's on the floor, but it has a place to put the floor, fork you put your uh, salad fixings, etc., in here. You have um, a little container that uh, unscrews, so you can put your salad dressing in there, um, what have you. It should be leak proof. Just holds it up top, put it back together, it pops on. Well, it seemingly pops on. All right, there's this particular way it pops on. And the fork is on the floor. That's like a good size salad. So, um, it's trying to get me to eat a little bit better. So, can't resist the hot pink. Um, <clears throat> and that salad container was $2.17 at the time. The next thing I bought was a really pretty necklace for the fall. And I'm not sure if it'll work for me because a lot of the teeny necklaces, since I am a plus size person, um, it may not fit my neck. Might be a choker on my neck, but I know who I can give it to. Um, that's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can also see if I can replace it with longer chains. Not exactly as, I think I have some finer chains, um, but it's just so pretty. And it's obviously three-dimensional. It is very autumnally 
colored, fall colored. And so um, it might only be an 18 inch chain and I'm gonna need something closer to 20 or 22 inch chain. So that uh, beautiful necklace, I think there's rings out there that might match too, um, was $2.60. Another one I bought, and again, it might be too small. And quite frankly, I think I thought the necklace itself was going to be, the pendant part of it was going to be bigger. Definitely going to, yeah, definitely going to have to redo that. That is a tiny chain. That might be a 16-inch chain. But look at that face. That is gorgeous kitty face. And I will definitely do something. Um, it's got a good bail on it right there. Um, it's just solid, you know, gold colored in the back. It's got a little um, semi-hollow bead right there and a tiny little crystal, whether it's glass or true crystal. But I will show you that. Isn't that kettles like their eyes are following you like the Mona Lisa? But again, I've got too small of a chain. I believe I can replace the chain, um, but that was just too pretty to, to pass up. And that um, ethnic style cat head pendant, unique, oh, was $2.24. All right, the next thing I picked up in this haul was a very iridescent hmm, cat sticker. I don't have the back of a car to put this on, but I have purchased something from Amazon that will help me save stickers, a sticker saver book. And I thought that would be something really nice. And it just reminds me of Dara, since I am pagan slash Wiccan, you've got your crescent moon, you've got the kitty reaching for the star, and I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and let's see, that cost me 69 cents. I also picked up a silver zipper, zipper pull uh, in a silver heart. And that could be either for my wallet or my hoodie, something later on. Um, that was 48 cents. I did pick up a bunch of little pins. Again with the pins, I know. Um, where are you? There you are. I'm going to have to put some, get something to put the pins on. And that's another, another thing. I don't know if you can see this. It says overthinker, and I am such the overthinker. I am. I truly am. I obsess about things. I worry about things. I worry about everyone. Every one of you that is going through um, either chemo or surgery for cancer, for other items uh, that are, are having to go into ER and at the last second by yourself and you know who you are. I'm not going to mention you, but I worry about all of you. So I definitely am an overthinker. Um, and that little pin was 98 cents. The next one um, was $1.18. And it is, let's see, antisocial butterfly. <laughs> Yep, antisocial butterfly. I feel like I am an antisocial butterfly. I have my moments like this that I am vivacious or outgoing, but I really am just a, a wallflower in, in most normal th circumstances. So hey, I'm in a room by myself talking to myself, basically, <laughs> as I make this. So um, <laughs> definitely a little bit of an antisocial butterfly. I'm, I'm the dichotomy of Teresa is an extroverted introvert. And there are times where that introvert definitely comes into play. So the next item is, I thought this one would be longer. I thought it would be bigger. That's what she says. This is a wooden barbecue tong. It is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, it does not bend well. <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to be. Um, yeah, that one might be a oopsie, but um, it's about the size of my hand. It's supposed to be a wooden wooden tong, but in order to get it to close, you really have to get your fingers down there, so I would not be using this by a barbecue. So that might be a, a oopsie. 
I honestly thought it was quite a bit taller. Um, the next item is um, a portable, foldable, small backpack, and it was $3.07, and of course, I got it in hot pink. Now, the reasoning behind this was, um, at some point in time, living in California, we have earthquakes, we have floods, we have forest fires, and you always need a to-go bag. And I thought this would be a quickie, that it is just a little backpack. It spreads out, has a place to hold a water bottle. Um, I don't know if this would actually go across my, my shoulders or anything. It is just a small little foldable thing. This could be good going on... Um, just trying to go to the farmer's market. It could be a good book bag going to the library. Whatever it is, it's just small and tiny enough that it can fold up and you could throw it in your purse. You could stick it in your glove box, whatever it is. It was three bucks. It was hot pink and I am a sucker for things like that. So <laughs> there's that. Another thing I bought that um, I use a, a walker and a cane. And my walker has baby stroller straps on it that hang off my handles. I can't show you now. Um, and then I have a bag that's slung between, since I have a trifold walker, um, there's no seat, there's no brakes, there's nothing. Um, I hang my bag between it. And so all the accoutrement that I need to take to work, my purse, my lunch, other makeup, whatever, are all hung between <laughs> the different sides of my walker. And I saw these... They are a little bit smaller than what I expected. Some things look bigger, some things look smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I thought I'd give these a shot. I don't know how well they will hold up. In fact, they're already broken. Are they already broken? No, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> but I could attach other things to my walker with this. But this is not going to work for, for what I need it for. I need heavy-duty baby stroller or um, walker straps. And this, this is, it might hold up a little bit, but it's not going to hold everything that I need to. But again, if you have little things that you want to hold, um, you know, off of your bicycle even, this could hold it on, you know, through the, um, and then, yeah, so, um, what are these? There's two pieces. Um, they're Velcro and uh, what I call a G-ring. G or a D-ring. Um, two pieces of stroller hooks for baby strollers. Um, they were $1.77 each, and I got two of them in the pack. Or maybe they were a pack for two pieces in a pack for $1.77. So the next item is from watching Mary Catherine Loves Cats, but she got a different one. But she made me think, um, these are little dental floss toothpicks, and uh, my container is not as nice as hers. My container is also uh, taped shut. <laughs> so we have these little things just to get the stuff out. So I, I saw a prettier one. Mary Catherine had a, a prettier one. I want to say it was either pink or blue. Um, but I just picked up this. Um, there are 50 pieces in a box. And I intend to throw these in, the th in, in my drawer at work. Um, just because you never know when you get things stuck in your teeth and you're being driven mad. So <laughs> I got the idea for Mary Catherine, even though she picked up a, a different one. And this was 98 cents, so I think it was worth it. The next thing that I have is more of these leatherette earrings. I'm really liking those. I think reviews from with Sue um, didn't pick these specific ones up, but I think she's as enamored with them as I am. These little leatherette teardrops. And these are butterflies in gold and purple. And I just think they're really pretty, that they'll stand out. They're very, very lightweight. Um, they've got a good uh, O-ring on them, a jump ring on them, and a nice ball and uh, ball and spring um, shepherd's hook on them. So again, I've got uh, a couple of different uh, 
purple outfits and uh, blouses that have butterflies on them and I thought you know purple and gold that's just really pretty and those were a dollar thirty four uh, next I got into a little bit of skincare we got a 15 piece Sakura aka cherry blossom sleeping mask so shelf life is five years wowzers and this is by uh, let's see expiration date 2027 I got a long time 2027 before I can use these and they're just little sleeping masks that they're they've got uh, cherry blossom um, and uh, I have a bunch of these different things some are seaweed some are uh, other th other types but moisturizing repairing brightening and you just put I'm, I'm gonna devise some sort of little bowl or something uh, or something to stick on my wall that every night I put these little packets in there and it's gonna be a grab bag and I'll pick out something and I'll put it on my face and it doesn't as far as I know you don't have to wash it off rich with sakura extract seaweed essence hyaluronic acid and other nourishing ingredients to repair and protect the skin intensively sakura sleeping face mask can restore the lost moisture for your skin when you are sleeping and let your skin moisturizing well rested and dynamic when wake up so again this stays on rubs in stays on basically a moisturizer um so yeah i've bought a lot of their little individual packet skin cares and uh, I plan on making use of this. So this packet of skincare, um, I picked the 30 piece and there was also, a, uh, or I picked the 15 piece, there was also a 30 pack as well. But this 15 piece was $2.98. Now I did pick up some rings. These rings were 38 cents each. Um, might as well just take them out of their container. I've got a lot of junk to clean up over here. So, and I've got them in size 8, which is ring finger. So that's a pretty color. There's one that's a little more opalescent, but different from other ones that I have. So this is more of a green. Then I got a more brilliant pink. I don't care if they're the same style. I just like the colors because I like to mix and match. So again, these are all size 8, and then I got a hot pink. So, there you go. These are all size 8. Then, let's see. Facial Jelly Powder Mask. Um, this is something that I wanted to try. Um, might as well drag these over here. Um, this is a, a powder that you mix with water, and then you put the mask on your face and I just thought it was interesting and it's rose I love that efficacy cool oil control regulate oil secretion or tighten pores or uh, repair of redness and dry and itching after sun exposure suitables for all skin types especially for dry skin suitable for any season um, alginate sodium hyaluronate sodium Rose extract and niacinamide. So I figured that's a good for me. Can you hear it? It's kind of crunchy powder. <laughs> Not exactly ACMR, but you know. Um, let's see. This is 20 grams. I don't know how many uses I'll get out of it. But it was $2.24. And I thought, that's neat. I want to try that. Yes, I do. Almost there. So the next item was a bigger ring, if I can find it. Um, it's still, this one was a size 9. I have got to stop buying size 9s. I have got plenty of size 9s. And that's usually my middle finger. Um, but I think I've got plenty of those. I don't know what my pinky finger is, but it's not a size 7. So this one, as you can see, it's shifting between like green and purple. And it just fits. So... Your belly sparkly. Yeah. So we've got that. That was the last of the rings. Um, $1.70, so it was a little more expensive. The next thing I got was a stainless steel fruit folding knife. I don't know about that, but I bought it because, guess what? It's hot pink, and it looks like a key, but it's got a little 
folding knife. And you can hang it off a keychain. You never know when you're going to need a little knife. So um, it's still, I think, within legal limits within California because it's only the blade might be only two inches. Um, but yeah, it snaps back in. It's hot pink. It looks like a key. I thought it was cute, so I got it. And that was 78 cents. The next thing, last two things really are, again, more with the skincare, Teresa. Oh my goodness. Um, Good Night Mask Leave In Mask Moisturizer, 20 pieces for $3.88. And again, um, I don't, they're just little individual packets. And I like the fact that you're not um, opening up an entire bottle and it's oxidizing or starting to decay. Expiration date, 20. Uh, February of 2026 so I've got plenty of time to use these things um, wash free collagen firming mask so it's just a little bit of you know gel or liquid or cream whatever it is in here there we go that's all it is that's all you need for just your face right before you go to bed I have a ton of these I'm not sure if I've already shown you a ton of these or if they're still in bags that are not yet shown. Um, wow, this is long. I'm sorry. Um, and then the last one was the Collagen Firming Sleeping Mask. Again, we've got a 20 pack here. I cut my nails, so I can't get into anything. Okay. This one, again, is good till April of 2026, so it definitely gives me a couple of years to go through these things. And they could also be little things that I throw in giveaways if I ever, ever get to the post office ever again. I, I've owed people giveaway prizes since December of last year. I don't have transportation. I just don't. I can get to and from work. I'm lucky that I can do grocery shopping every two to three weeks. So getting to a post office, it would probably be at least a $30 ride there and back to get to the post office. So I'm having problems. So I do apologize to all of my winners, all the subscribers that are, are waiting so patiently <laughs> for their giveaway prizes. Um, so this one, again, is a little sleeping mask. We are only looking at probably three mil in here. Collagen firming sleeping mask. So... I'm definitely going to put those probably in a gallon bag <laughs> or something and keep it at my bedside so every night I don't have an excuse. I don't have to, you know, do some big routine. I can just go sweat, 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 pull the bangs up, sweat, sweat, sweat. There you go. So that is my Timu haul. I have no idea which number this is. I think it's, I want to say it's 19, but you'll see it before I do, um, before I figure it out. I think it's number 19. I think my live was number 18 and I think this one is number 19 out of 30 something. It's an addition. So that is my haul <laughs> from the first week of June. It is now the second week of August. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So that's it. Did you have a particular item that you liked best? Was there something that you thought probably was a dud besides the wooden tongs that you have to get like right here before they close? So, um, if there's anything that you want the item number four or a link to, just ask me down below in the comments. Um, I love comments. I might be a little bit behind on them, but I do love reading them all. So thank you so much, everybody, for visiting with me on Tuesday, August 15th. It'll be the 16th before you see it, but Tuesday, August 15th, it's Timu time at Tea Time Adventures. So thank you all to my returning subscribers. I love you. I love you. I wouldn't be as far as I was without all of your love and support. And to those that are new on the bus, whether you've seen me in somebody else's live um, or somebody shouted me out, you've decided to check me out. Thank you. I hope that if Timu doesn't interest you, I do other things. I do unboxings. I do hauls. 
I've been getting into coloring a little bit more as well. So um, hopefully you'll find something of interest to keep you coming back. And for those just driving by to check me out, hi, howdy, and hello. I hope you uh, sit a spell and visit with me. So thank you so much, everyone. It has uh, been an interesting year for me, and uh, I do love and appreciate every single one of you. So take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And I will see you around the net. Bye.